Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ian for today. Pag-uusapan naman natin yung isang special type of parallelogram which is called a kite. Napag-usapan na natin yung iba't ibang mga special types of parallelograms. Meron tayong trapezoids, meron tayong rhombus, meron tayong square, meron tayong rectangle. And for today, ipag-uusapan naman natin yung uh, mga special characteristics ng special parallelogram na ito or quadrilateral na ito called uh, a kite. So ano ba ang meron sa kite? Ano ba ang meron sa saranggola? At yan ang pag-uusapan natin natin dito sa lesson natin on special parallelograms. So... Uh, in this case, we have a kite that is a quadrilateral, not necessarily a parallelogram, but this is just a quadrilateral wherein yung two pairs of our consecutive sides would be congruent and no opposite sides are congruent. So the... Hello everyone, this is Dr. Esperanza and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin ang isang special type of quadrilateral that is called a kite. Napag-usapan na natin noong uh, nakaraang lessons yung uh, mga special types of parallelograms at mga special types of quadrilateral tulad ng square, ng rhombus, ng uh, trapezoid. And for this special types uh, special type of quadrilateral, pag-usapan naman natin yung tinatawag natin kite sa geometry. At ano ba meron dito sa kite? Ano ba meron dito sa saranggola na ito? Bakit pa tinawag na saranggola? Itong quadrilateral na ito. At yan yung pag-uusapan natin dito sa ating lesson for today. So, syempre, ang uh, kite by definition, ito yung tinatawag natin quadrilateral na merong uh, dalawang pares ng consecutive sides na considered to be congruent at there's no opposite sides na Congruent. So, ano ba yung mga sides na yan? Ito yung isa sa kite or uri ng kite na meron tayo sa geometry. At according sa definition, meron tayong uh, perpendicular or congruent sides na consecutive sides. Yan yung tinatawag natin consecutive sides. At meron din tayong parallel or uh, not parallel but congruent sides na nandyan dun sa bottom um, legs ng ating uh, kite. So, ito yung itsura ng kite na mukha naman talagang si Rangola pagdating sa geometry. Now, this is not a uh, parallelogram kasi makikita ninyo na wala namang parallel lines dito sa kite. Pero ito ay isang special type of quadrilateral. So, let's understand and talk about yung mga properties and conditions and theorems na meron dito sa special type of quadrilateral na ito at uunahin natin yung diagonals ng ating kite at dito ang diagonals ng mga ng kite natin kapag congruent yung kanilang mga legs ang uh, line segment AC at yung line segment BD yan ay ang uh, diagonals ng ating kite ay considered to uh, give a perpendicular angle or perpendicular bisector dahil nakakapulos siya ng right angle doon sa intersection ni BD at ni AC. Kung ito yung ating uh, kite ABCD, alam natin na congruent yung ating uh, first pair of our opposite sides at saka yung ating uh, other opposite sides ay congruent din. So kung meron tayong diagonals or line segments connecting AC and BD, meron tayong mapuproduce na right angle dito sa ating kite at yun yung uh, perpendicular lines na nabuo by combining yung intersection ng line segment BD at AC na nasa loob ng ating special quadrilateral. At yung ating uh, second theorem naman, kapag meron daw tayong kite, yung angle B ay congruent sa angle D which means yung ating 
opposite angles doon sa ating quadrilateral na nakikita ninyo dyan ay magiging congruent. So, kung ito yung ating kite at meron tayong kite A, B, C, D, kung ang measurement ng ating angle D ay 110 degrees, ibig sabihin nun, yung measurement ng angle B natin will also be 110 degrees dahil yan yung theorem about the um, opposite angles ng ating kite na meron tayo dito sa theorem na ito. So, gagamitin natin yan sa pagsagot ng ating first problem of the day, which is itong ang quadrilateral na ito, which is considered to be a kite. So, ang pangalan ng ating kite ay si kite DEFG. At pakikita natin na kailangan natin hanapin yung angle 3, angle 1, and angle 2. At ang alam lang natin ay yung measurement ng uh, kalahating bahagi ng angle D which is 52 degrees. So, paano natin nahanapin yung tatlong measurement ng angles na yan? Uunahin natin siyempre yung pinakamadaling kunin, which is yung measurement ng angle 1 dahil gagamitin natin yung ating theorem doon sa kite na kung saan yung ating uh, line segment BD at AC, yung intersection niya, would create a right angle dahil ito ay considered to be a perpendicular by sector. So that means without doing any algebra, we know that the measurement of angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees. Now, paano naman natin nahanapin si angle 2 at si angle 3? Gagamit tayo ng triangle. So triangle dahil meron tayong nakikitang triangle dito which is yung uh, side na ito ng ating trapezoid. So si triangle D, G, and let's say Ang uh, name ng ating point na ito ay M. So, let's say DMG. So, si DMG ay isang triangle. Alam natin na pwede natin gamitin yung uh, theorem about triangle, which is yung ating interior angles ng ating triangle ay always equal to 180 degrees. And how are we going to use this theorem to solve for angle number 2? So, alam natin na yung measurement ng angle D Kapag in natin yan sa measurement ng angle 1 at sa measurement ng angle 2, we'll be able to produce a 180 degree angle. At alam natin yung measurement ni angle D, which is 52 degrees. Alam din natin yung measurement ni angle 1, which is 90 degrees. Ngayon, mahahanap na natin si measurement ng angle 2 using algebra by combining this two and subtracting it from 180 and we'll be able to produce measurement of angle 2. So we know that angle 1 is 9 degrees added to 52, we'll have 142 degrees. At dun sa 142 degrees na yan, makukuha natin yung measurement ng angle 2 dahil isa subtract natin yung 142 on both sides. And by doing so, will be able to produce the measurement of angle 2, which gives us 38 degrees. So, meron na tayong measurement ni angle 1 at ni angle 2. Kailangan na lang natin gamitin or hanapin ay yung measurement ni angle 3. So, paano natin kukunin yung measurement ni angle 3? Gagamit din ulit tayo ng ating uh, triangle property dahil dito maghahanap tayo ng pwede nating i-connect kay angle 3 na theorem na uubra para makuha natin yung last measurement ng ating kite. So we know na yung ating DFE or DEF, kapag kinonect natin yan, meron tayong mapuproduce na triangle at alam natin na yung ating triangle DEF ay congruent sa triangle opposite that particular triangle which is triangle DGF. So yan yung ating uh, second triangle at kung congruent yung ating uh, triangles using the special properties ng ating mga triangles SSS or yung mga sides na ay kung uh, mga sides na or cor corresponding sides na ay parehas or similar doon sa second triangle so ibig sabihin noon corresponding or congruent yung mga corresponding parts ng ating uh, triangle DEF sa triangle DGF which means pwede nating mahanap yung measurement ni angle 3 dahil Ang opposite angle niya ay 52, which is corresponding with angle 3. So by using that definition of our triangle similarities, alam natin na si angle 3 would equal to 52 degrees. So dyan natin mahanap yung ating tatlong 
angles dito sa kite using yung theorem na pinag-aralan natin doon sa uh, um, about kite and yung theorem about same sides ng ating mga triangle will be congruent. So yan yung ating uh, pag-measure ng ating kite at yung mga theorems associated with this special types of quadrilateral na pwedeng pwede yung gamitin para masagutan ninyo itong ating uh, special kite for the day at ito yung ating number better challenge for you to be able to solve for the measurement of angle 1, 2, and 3 given na yung ating isa sa angles ng K ay 36 degrees. So gagamitin natin yung mga theorems and also some of the theorems about triangles para makabuo tayo at makuha natin yung mga measurement ng angles na yan. So yan yung ating special types of quadrilateral at sa pagsagot ng mga missing parts ng ating kite. Kailangan lang nating uh, alamin yung mga theorems associated with the kite at yung basic definition ng kite para mas masubutan natin at maintindihan yung mga problems natin na associated sa ating special types of quadrilateral. This is Dr. E and see you again next time.